I'm sorry about all the build up. It's a fucking work in art. If it, if it if it didn't take it's it's all about the drama here, right? Well, let me just make time drama. That's disgusting. Yes, yes, it is. This is also reality TV. Everything I do is like reality TV. That's the thing. That's what that's my bit. That's literally my bit. It's just reality TV. Whatever I do, you actually get you guys get a lot of extra. Sometimes. <laughs> No, it was extra behind the scenes. <clears throat> Sometimes it's confusing. Here we go, Jack. You write Jack's ready for this shirt. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. They don't do this because they usually I, I'm not a fast reader, so I don't sound good either. I'm, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. You're already here. I ain't gotta explain shit. Here we go. I told you I'm gonna make this gay for everybody. I'm going to turn it up, bomb camera over here. I'm going to slice her up a little bit higher here. Take a little bit of sass on this. Need a little bit. Oh, there's my Maverick cup. Okay, that, that's going to work. That's just going to have to work. So we got... That's dangerous. Shit. Turn this. Okay. Hear me all right. Check, check. Here we go, bomb camera. Oh, that shit out of the way. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. My dirty ass desk. Like, fuck. Shit on there. Let's start off. Let's take a look. Because I want to say something here. You want to say something here? Because, like, dead printers, you're not going to see this. It doesn't look like you see it on this. At least on the cover, you don't. Which is a good sign that there's a good printer. I can pull you up some shit, um, cause I worked in this. I worked in this shit when they did vinyl, but we did them on um, garage doors and shit like that. I'll show you something here. Give me one second. This is like no offense. This is no offense to who's look on my show here. But this is a this is just one. I hate to be. This is just the one that I've had that's recent. I guess. That, um, damn, it, I got shit over my cigarette tray here. This is one that's just recent. I'm not, I'm not poking fun at anything, but these are things that get that don't get met by fucking quality control. These are things that don't get met by quality control, and in my opinion, they buy. They they say it's all right. So. This is a this is this is the Mike Barron book now. And I, I have other books too. This is just the one I know most recent. Look at this. That's a printer head. That's a couple of printer heads. Now I have another book by Norwal, and I told him about that. I don't know if anybody pays attention to that shit. That's a that's a fucking bad ink. That's a head going out. Now, I don't know if everybody has that. I'm not going to sit here and complain about that because I could. I could because that's not how that makes that. But this is what happens when they do like different printer heads. You see the line there? That's not the line like sunshine, is it? Because, it's, oh, maybe it is. Maybe I'm being an idiot. Oh, shit. Maybe I am being an idiot. Oh, now I got to go get a narwhal book so I can show it. I don't think it is, because that wouldn't pop off there. No, there's no way. That's a fucking band. Okay, I'm freaking out. That is a band, though, because it's coming off here. That's kind of, I know it looks like it's not, but there shouldn't be any light here. There shouldn't be any light. Like, there's no glare off that gene that should be like that. That's a printer head. Look, that's two printer heads right there. One band, two and a half, I think. You haven't, Jack? Really? You haven't? Look, let me go, I'll go grab a Norwalk book. I pay attention to detail. These motherfuckers don't. I feel like I've seen this one. I feel like I've seen this one before. 
I feel like I've seen this before, and then I came back to it, and then I was like, oh, it's like, it wasn't that. I don't, I don't know where I'm going to go with it. I'm going to start, I want to say it starts somewhere between here. I'll say it starts somewhere between here. I got my bone camera back in the right direction. Sorry. Was there a start somewhere between these two slots here? It was like that's right or something. Let me double check. I want to see here. You can see. Yeah, you can see it. It says here at the bottom. Look. See that? Jack. Right there. One, two, three. Four. There's other really fine lines you can't see in there, but there's a whole that's more or less like a whole band right there. But those are different heads and it follows through. That's their printers, and that's a quality control check right there, by the way. Um, but let's 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 get back on that. That's not looks good. Looks good. I hate I hate like picking out two, but those those are two that are just like in my head because so I see. I'm very very particular about things like that. People want to fucking you can't pay all this money for art and then have it produced and it looks like shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get back to the show. Here we go. We got bong camera number one. I should change this to bong camera number one. Probably not. Let's move that there. Let's adjust this. Here we go. Are we ready for this, Jack? Are you ready for this, Jack? Jack, are you ready for this? You're the only one here, Jack. There's literally like two people here, and I'm one of them. I'm one of them, Jack. So you might be the other one. Nobody wants to see this. Oh, should we just end this show right now? Should I just stop this? I've gone this far. I've gone this far. Nobody wants anything about it. Jack's ready. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool. Jack's still here. Good. I'll try to give voices, which I can if I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn up the light a little bit. I know it might be a little bright, but that's fine. Bone camera number one. I hope you do this a good job. Here we go. Inglorious Rex. Oh, fuck me. Hit the buttons here. The bone camera needs to be a little higher here. Here we go. Okay. Written by Shane Davis, Yancy Lee. Penciled by Shane Davis, Yancy Lee. Inc. Colored by Jason Wright, Eric Weathers. Lettered and edited by Amanda Lamea. I think that's how you pronounce it. Here we go. First scene. First scene. We got life is about taking hard knocks before you get to the big payday. <sighs> But lately, it feels like I've been eating punch after punch, and there's no wind in sight. Break! I said break! What am I fighting for now? Back to your corner, Alex. <laughs> I don't know about him, T. He's just barely scrapping by a stand-up fighter, and what you do... Well, and what you do... Oh, I'm, I'm being and you want to do what with him? You ain't even at the end of your match yet, Camp. Go get some popcorn or something. Then sit your ass down and watch. I forget. I got to read this like Shane. Then I can understand this. God damn, I hate fucking doing this. Ah, fuck. Where is the... I don't know. Maybe that's kind of the subtlety of not knowing your fucking heroes. I guess it's like a hero. Oh, fuck. I must have been hit harder than I thought. Ringing in my ears. Visions just starting to clear up. I can barely make out the guy in the other corner. Corner man is talking, but all I hear is buzzing. Look, tired. Call it. Tired. Tired. I'm just... 
I'm looking tired. I need to throw in the towel. If Nate was here right now, he'd be giving me shit. Tired. Little bro, tired is like a girlfriend. Tired is like something you leave at home when you're headed for the ring. Tired is something you go home to and sleep with all night after you're done. You start letting tired get to you, and you'll be kissing the canvas soon enough. Got to shake it off. Find his opening. Gah! Oh, shit. Where the fuck did that come from? Where the fuck did that come from? Perfect kick, Alex. Okay, I'm being stupid. Perfect kick, Alex. And yet another one down for Alex Stone. Woo, yeah. Alex. I knew you had it in you. God, I actually am tired, Nate. I'm going to try to keep voices. That's tough. I'm sorry. What I tell you? I'm not going to lie. I liked his brother better, but give you this, the kids got hot. And that's exactly what we're going to need from him. The crowd is going to eat that hard shit right up. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's it's like the little tea. I think that's what it is. I'm doing pretty good because I'm fucking drunk, but I'm, I'm staying on course. So I'll just keep rolling with it, baby. Here you go. Here we go. I guess I should do a, a little shot here of each page first, and then I'll read. Sounds like some oh shit. That's stuck enough for you. Oh shit, I probably better look at this. No, nah, this is legit. We're good here. This is that ugly bitch that I don't like. Fuck a hoe. Um I remember the fight. The roaring crowd, the screaming fans, Nate gearing up as he steps into the arena for the last time. I remember the moment lasts forever. And I can't forget. Alex. What? What? The same dream again? Yeah. Oh, hey. You doing your hair? Your big fight is today, I forgot. Yes. And you never did talk about yo's last night. Just a little wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And you're out like a light. Yeah, sorry, Anna. I mean, you know, I, I'm just messing with you, Alex. Jeez. Be my big strong boyfriend won another fight, and I'm only rewarding him once. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't write before your fight. Oh hush. That's uh, here you go. I'll take a little overlay here. Sorry guys. Oh look, she's pregnant. She's sucking pregnant. She ain't already put it in there. She's pregnant. Look at that fat ass sucking belly. Look, I see AI assets. Look at that. AI assets at the door. Look at that. This guy's not even got fucking faces, Shane. What the fuck is that? Shane can't even give these guys a fucking... Can't even give guys some fucking eyebrows? What the fuck is that? That guy ain't even got a hairline, Shane. He's got a pokey doker. Come on, Shane. Shane? Shane, give me fucking eyebrows. Give me fucking eyebrows. Give me a fucking mustache, please. What is this? <laughs> Look at that. Here we go. Folks, we are here tonight at Arc Arena, Central Rex Arena. Our main event is, is the night is going to be Rising Star and Atomic versus Modesty Blastel. That's right, Charlie. This is a pretty controversial fight. It's an anatomic. Um, as anatomic is a last minute fill in fighter when Kreger dislocated his arm a couple weeks ago during training. This fight is going to be going to be fire because a little birdie told me that Anna anatomic is going to be debuting her Rex's evolution. Boy, she is going to need it. And it's so weird trying to do this. I need to do a weasel voice for this guy or something. We need to do this kind of powerful. Boy. Well, you'll see here. Let's do that. Boy, boy, is she going to need it. Okay, that's fine with me. Hey, Rex Razor is coming in severely underweight this fight. There we go. Am I doing this right? Am I following this right? It's supposed to go bing, bang, boom, man. Oops, I fucked up. I fucked up. Anatomic. Anatomic. Can we get a few minutes? I got to talk to you. Talk to the press, Alex. You'll be okay with that here. So I'm getting excited here. I gotta get my bitch voice back. Man, there's a lot of voices to do. You'll be okay here on your own. I'm a big boy, Anna. I'll be fine. 
I'll meet you back in the in the lace suit room. Oh my god, it's okay. What the fuck is that? It's okay. <laughs> Excuse me, Alex Stone. Little T wants to talk to you. Yes? Can it wait? Unfortunately, no. Wait, oh fuck. I don't I, I, what the fuck. Did I do that right? I don't read this shit right, dude. I'm dyslexic. Fuck you guys. Okay, here we go. Here's a little page from this. Bong cam. Well, he don't even have eyebrows, dude. Nobody's got eyebrows in this like of ate up ass world. Dude. It's like a fucking the bitches got eyebrows. That's stupid. The guy in the back's got we gotta pull in. Look at this bitch. Where's she at? Look, look. Here we go. Look at that shit. Got tits. Got tits. No eyebrows. Hey, at least these people got faces back here this time. That, that's because they're like, you know what's funny is these people are like literally like this much further. Like if you were going to go back in the distance, if you go that much further. So let's say about two, three people back, they wouldn't even have eyes. Like it, because that's how shit the resolution is, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand that. I pay attention to this shit. Maybe I'm not supposed to look at it. I don't know. You can really see the pixels of the painting, though. You see, you can really see the count kind of prints. Let me get really close to check that quality out. We're going to really get up close to check this quality out. I would say so far, Shane Davis has a very good printer. It's got a nice print. Ooh. Oh, that's a light. Okay, back to what we're doing. Oops. There he is. The man of the hour. Save it, T. What's up? What is this about? Told you. I told you he's a rough one day. Nah, nah, Cam. Alex here. He don't like the small talk, K. Okay? What's in it? What's, what's, oh, I'm sorry. What's to get straight down to business? I can respect that. Last time I was in this room was six years ago, right after Nate. So, kid. Let's talk shop. Listen, let wait, hold on. That's right. Ah, that, that was my food earlier. Oopsie. Listen, legends are listen. Hold on, Peace out. Listen, legends are expensive to feed. Feel me? Your brother's Rex 322. Yeah, but we're not here to talk about three three or two thirty-two, sorry. We're here to talk about you. He's going to be, he's going to get decommissioned. Oh, I'm fucking going to be a stupid. You, sorry, guys. You are going to decommission the lit. I'm getting shy now. Black. Okay. You're going to be the commission, the legend. We got, I guess this is a bit harder than just like reading. I'm trying to add some shit so I can give myself a little slack. I reckon. Not like I do this professionally. Come again to save 232 by piloting him in a rematch against Ruin. Opportunity, son, so Ruin can finally claim he finished off three, two, three, two. I'm giving you the opportunity to fight in the Rex. I'm, I'm giving you a fight to fight in a Rex fight. Come on now. You know that's not how that's for. Now, the people of our city still call Ruin a fake champion. They didn't gun dishonor this fight the way he ended your brother. I think that's how Shane would interpret that. Something like that. Good. So now slow down, Alex. You're going to like what I'm about to say. Go on. I'm listening. Rex232 was a champion. T, you know, as I know as well as I do, Ruin has evolved since that fight. Am I reading that right? I keep going. Pew, pew, pew. Right? Yeah, yeah right? Because they're talking. Yeah. But what if we don't put him down like a dog? There is no way. There is no way a 2 3 2 can win. Not since you demoted him to punch him back. The people of Ark City would want to see him to go out doing what he was built for, fighting. Sparring Rex, same difference. So, 
What do you say he's getting into that cockpit for one crazy ass SmackDown room? Let's check this. We gotta check this. Yeah, it looks like all right from my angle. Yeah, I'm folding that shit. Piss off. You telling me you don't want a chance to pile your brother's Rex and avenge him? You said it. You said it yourself, T. That is my brother's Rex. I ain't. Damn, I'm trying to mix an accent here. Sorry. I ain't. I am not going to be able to lance up in this neutral system the way my brother did. That don't matter. The people of Ark City, they want closure on that fight all those years ago. Maybe they ain't the only ones that need closure is what I'm saying. You know, I can't win. It's Rex fighting, Alex. Anything can happen in the fight. Step in the cage, avenge your brother, reclaim your crown. You with me? There we go. Jack, what are you thinking so far? I'm pretty entertaining so far. All right. Let's say this is this is all right so far. He's got nice, you got a nice protagonist here. We haven't heard anything about this. This is my first start. We know a little bit about this guy. This is we'll say this. We've learned. Yeah, yeah, we learned a decent amount within these what, five, six pages or whatever. I'm not flying through this shit. We learned about a lot about him. We've learned his backstory. We know he's got this guy's got some fucking uh, some anger in him right now, right? We know about his brother. We know his brother fucking died in this Rex, or this Rex was his in this game. Now, do we know if this ugly ass bitch is his brother's old bitch? Who knows? The way this is going, the way this world looks, like, look at this guy. No eyebrows. Can't trust them, dude. Interesting. Let's continue on. Lace suit room two. Here we go. How did you? Oh, here. I guess I could watch this on here if I did it like this. How did your meeting with little Tico? We can talk about it later. I think I've mixed these accents again. We can talk about it later. How's it? How's the land suit feel? I keep forgetting you never wore one. This one is supposed to be a newer model, faster neural link up, quicker feedback from the Rex. It feels like my nerve endings are lighting up, sparks creeping across my skin. I can feel Riser breathing, sinking with mine. Her heartbeat is echoing in my chest. This bitch is fucking ugly. Um, sorry about that. Here we go. How do I do this? This one's hard when he's got these long ass sucking panels like this. Here we go. It doesn't matter. Here we go. Listen, babe. I know you. And listen, babe. I know you're great for fighting and all, but that modesty, ba Basdale, you're fighting today. That's a big ass Rex. Way out of your weight class. You got to keep your distance, okay? Stick on. Stick and move. Riser has been evolving. In her fights, Alex, I think we can handle ourselves. Help me turn on the aggression protocol. Are you asking me to push your buttons, gorgeous? Alex, I always want you to push my buttons. Here we go. Rex fight. Match match 16, round one. This is going to be an interesting fight today, folks. Anatomic, undefeated with 33 wins. That's right, Charlie. Anna, or as she refers to be called, Anatomic, has been steadily climbing her way to the top, but I don't know if she has finally met her match. Whoa, that's gotta hurt. What the heck was Anatomic thinking? Taking that fight to such short notice and completely out of her weight class. Sorry. Toby, if she beats Modesty here, she gets her shot at the big dog, the holder of the crowd. Ruin. You bitch. That's somewhere in between there, but it doesn't matter. And she goes, Riser, can't take much more of this. Gotta make this count. See, she sure like said, like, with her no emphasis there. Gotta make this count. Got to make. Riser can't can't take this much more. Or sorry, Riser can't take much more of this. Gotta make this. 
count. You see what I'm saying? Why is there no emphasis to that? Like, that should, like, have a whammy, right? I don't know. I'm assassin. Roger, we can't take much more of this. We got to make this count. We got to make this count. Come on. We need to make this count. If we don't make this count, we're going to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Where's that at? Do, 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 do. Time to show off the new moves. Sweet. Whoa. What is that? Hold on, hold on. Am I doing this right? Oh, yeah. What did Anatomic just do? She struck her new harpoons in the modesty's leg. My God. Throws her like a drag doll. I haven't had the slightest clue what Anatomic Rexes just did. The looks like modesty is just shaking off. <laughs> massive, massive collision. I got to make that voice. I'm trying to do that. Massive miscalculation on Anatomic's part here. That's going to be the easiest way to do this. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got this, Anna. Hey, hang on. Something's happening to modesty. Jesus looks like there was something in harpoons that anatomic Rex shot. Looks like her Rex's leg is all jacked up. She can't move. Whatever was in it, it's got her leg all swole up. There we go. It's time to max out Riser's aggression protocol. <laughs> Scree! <laughs> Charlie, is there one thing I've learned over the years is watching these Rexes fights is that you should always expect to see big evolutions and even bigger wins. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get these voices down, guys. Just bear with me. It's a learning thing here. And the winner by KO Razor, Anatomic, and Rex Razor. Anatomic! And that's 38 or 34 straight wins for Superstar Anatomic Boy Anatomic Boy Modesty does not look happy about the loss. What what do you think? What do you expect? Rexus cost a fortune to clone, and she's got off her Rex's head, kicked right off. I'm sure a band-aid will fix that. Anatomic, after this win tonight, are you ready to face Ruin in the Cage? You better believe I'm ready. I'm afraid we'll need to postpone your tango for another day, Anatomic. Huh? Gun? Dun, dun, dun! I don't know. This feels like that kind of moment. You haven't told your sweetheart here how fight stone. Alex is what I'm talking about. Alex, he knows what I'm talking about, sir. You bet I'm talking. You bet I'm taking a fight. Me and 232 are going to destroy you, Rex, and knock that crown right off your head. That's suicide. You can't buy the Rex not clone from you. I bet you got a little tea to set this all up. You can't stand. Damn, I, I had like that fighter Brooklyn accent kind of. Uh, it's hard to change. Sorry, guys. I'm supposed to be reading. We're in immersion, damn it. I bet I got this little tea to set up all this up. Can't stand being called fake champion, huh? You should take your girlfriend's advice, Stone. I wouldn't want to be accused of killing both you and your brother. You think I'm gonna you think I'm gonna fall for that shit? You played on Nate Gun? You will get your fight, and I'm gonna make you bleed. You see, uh, I you see, I'll see you in the cage, Stone. Alex, this is crazy. Two three two should have been put down long ago. You knew I were. You knew we were going to decommission my brother Rex all along. He had a good run, but you can't live in the past without his linked pilot. 232 can't win. You can't, you can't connect with him the way your brother did. Oh, so it's okay for me to be in your corner all this time. But when I need you, you don't believe I can win? Alex, I didn't say that. Nah, I got you. 
I'll do this on my own. Breaking news from the world of Rex fighting tonight. Alex Stone, brother of the late champion of the late Rex champion, Nate Stone, is about to step into the cage for the first time. An interesting turn of events. Grand champion Rex 232 was defeated by Ruin in an extremely controversial match. His pilot, Nate Stone, was brutally murdered in the ring by an illegal blow to his cockpit in round two of their match. Madness of round, madness around. Oh, sorry, madness abounds in tonight's Rex fighting world as Little T announces revenge matchup between Gunn and the younger brother of a deceased Nate Stone and a no holds barred grand champion Nate Stone. That was I'm sorry, why did that go into that? That's so fucking weird. Hold on, let's read that again. Between Gunn and the younger brother of a deceased Nate Stone and a no holds hold bar. Dot dot dot. Oh, fade over. Sorry. Hey, what is that? Grand champion Nate Stone was pilot to the Rex 232 for a record holding 67 career wins before his ultimately demise in the cage. He was defended. He has defended Arc City two times against attack. 232. Us. Oh, God, I'm getting distracted here. 232 has given us some legendary fights, but he has been regulated by sparring. Rex status since his pilot died in a beat up Rex and a rising MMA star with no Rex fighting experience, even going to be able to lace up my read. Oh, I didn't fucking read that. Fuck, I'm wrong. Act like that didn't happen. Fucking stupid. This is a fucking this is some stupid. Sh I didn't read that, right? I didn't read that. I'm supposed to read all this first, right? While some say the fake champion Ruin actually never won the match. Oh, that does make a bit more sense. No, it doesn't. No, am, am I doing that right? Did I do that right? Am I being stupid? Can I get a check in the chat? Check in the chat. Okay. Well, we're just going to continue on. I'm pretty fucking drunk and high at the same time. And I don't care. While some say the fake champion, Ruin, actually never won the match. Won the match due to the illegal strike. Rec experts and fans alike have been divided on that. Some are claiming that the 232 dodged the blow meant for him, causing his pilot to be killed. Others are saying that he walked right into the blow and that it was his own fault. Whether the case, Nate Stone is dead and the world of Rex fighting grew a, a little dimmer that day. Now his younger brother, Alex Stone, is going to be piling Rex 232 in a fight just announced tonight by Little T. There is no way 232 can beat Ruin. Ruin's bigger, stronger, and more evolved. And I think I'm supposed to go this way. Sorry, now we'll go back. Madness. Now this makes more sense now. Madness abounds in tonight's arena. In tonight's Rex fighting a world as Little T announces a revenge matchup between Gunn and the younger brother of deceased Nate Stone and a nodes old bards. Grand champion Nate Stone was the pilot to Rex 232 for a record holding 67 career wins before being all before his ultimately all untimely, sorry, untimely demise in the cage. He has defended Narc City two times against attack. I'm doing that wrong. Here. Two, 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 two. 233 has given us a legendary fight, but he has been regulated and sparring status since his pilot has died. Is this beat up Rex and then a rising MMA star with no Rex experience even going to be able to lace up? I'm getting this back on track, guys. Just bear with me, sorry. But with 232 not cloned from his genetic material and this being his first time piloting a Rex, is he going to be able to sync up with his Rexes successfully? Or is he just going... To become fodder for ruin. One thing's for sure. Things are about to heat up like never before in Rex fighting. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this. We're about a quarter of the way through, it looks like. Look who's finally here. We gotta do this. Sorry, guys. We're on bong cam. This is low stuck in this is low production costs here. Bong cam. Thanks, bong cam. Whoop. Here we go. Here we go. Look who's finally decided to show his face around here. <clears throat> you still taking fights? Yeah. Won a fight just last last night, actually. Good. Good. Come here, Bessie. Nothing to be afraid of. He won't hurt you. 
don't know what's going on. And little T said, ration us up, ration us to just a cow a day. <clears throat> One cow for a whole day for a sparring Rex? Oh, sorry. This keeps up and two, three, two won't be able to even stand up. He gets knocked down. But maybe that's the point. Yeah, maybe. You know something I don't, boy? <sighs> yeah, two, three, two. I hear you. I know it ain't been easy the past couple years. I did talk to little T a few hours ago. About what? He's wanting to decommission two, three, two. So so that's why you're here. You came here as a messenger to tell me I'm trying to lose the last bit of my the last bit of Nate I got left. No, Dad. I'm here to tell you that we have option. I'm going to pilot him for one last time. And I need you to train me for the fight. Are you kidding me, Alex? You ain't even you ain't even a Rex fighter. You're going to pilot another person's Rex? Do you even know? Do you even I'm sorry? Do you even know who you're going up against? Ruin. Damn, everybody's like, this sucks. I don't care because I'm already stuck in the voting position. Haters. Haters. Try to stop right now, guys. Am I being bad? There's only two people here. Should I continue this? Should we continue another day? Nobody wants to see it. Everybody left, dude. We got to transition this wild Wednesday karaoke stream. You know what? We're just going to read it now. Everybody's like, Caleb, you suck at reading it. So I guess you guys don't get voices anymore. Nobody wants voices. So that's why. <clears throat> Rune, after what happened to Nate, you promised me you'll never become a Rex fighter. And now you're going up against the son of that bitch that killed him. Damn it, Dad. 232 is all we have here. Left of Nate. If I don't take the fight, he's dead. If I do, at least he's got a chance. Don't you make this about 232. Don't you lie to me. You're taking the fight for you. You know this isn't what I what you wanted to hear. This is what this may be the only way for me to take chance for to avenge Nate. Avenge. Do you even hear yourself, gun? Fought dirty as hell and killed your brother. If Nate couldn't beat him, what do you think you can do? Hasn't Rex fighting taken enough from your family? Dad, you'll be my corner man. Do I have a choice? You never listened to me before. Maybe you listened to me in the cage. At least Nate knew how to listen. Nate also got his ass whooped. I mean, that's a problem. Several days later. Got word from Rex Training Center number 12. The kids started training for the fight. Good. I'm sick of being called the fake champion. This fight will show Arc City who the superior Rex fighter is. You want that stain off your name? Just let it listen and listen good. You got to take him. You got to take him through five rounds. No messing around this time. Rune has Rune has evolved since we last fought. I know it's 232 can eat. I don't even know if 232 can stand around against us. See, that's the problem. The people of the city, they want entertainment spectacle. They need to see you undeniably break him piece by piece. Doesn't matter if you're stronger. You need to look the part of the winner. You need to look like a damn champion. None of that illegal blow shit. You have you have one chance to make this work. Make your example out of them in front of the city. Prove that you earn this crown. Drag it out and make a good show of it. I'll I'll, oh, oh, I'll drag it out of him. Oh wait, how did I do that voice? I'll drag, I'll drag, yeah, there you go. I drag it out of him deep. Deep into the later rounds, so deep, and I'll drown him. What the? That's kind of gay. That guy's kind of gay. That's kind of gay. Sorry. I'll drag him out of the deep, deep into the later rounds, so deep, and I'll drown him. What is that? Is that like an insinuate? Is that foreshadowing there? Is that foreshadowing? Did we see some splooge? Huh. Okay. So that's some, that looks that might be some foreshadowing. There's like that foreshadowing has been going on for a second here, though. If you've seen it back here, I don't think I pointed it out. There's a little bit of it you could see. 
but I think you really got to see it like here. I don't know if that's what they're saying or not. Let's speculate it. Let's speculate, guys. <clears throat> fight night starts. Fight fight camp starts. First thing. Hold on. How do I do this? First thing. There you go. First things first. Getting me and Rex 232 is synced up. Fight champion involves footwork, sparring, movement, blocking, striking, and all the good stuff. But not for us. We start with breathing. The focus is breathing out with every punch. If I force two, three... No, why is this guy... See, okay, colors are fucking me up here. I'm sorry. Fight camp starts. Fight things first. Getting me and Rex 23 synced up. Fight camp involves footwork, sparring, movements, blocking, striking, all the good stuff. But not for us. We start with breathing. The focus is on breathing out with every punch. If I force 232 to breathe out every punch, then he has to breathe back in. The lace suit connects us for the first time ever in an endless cycle of feedback. He wasn't cloned from me. I don't know if that's the reason why it hurts like this. It's like they're not synced up, right? Every nerve ending lights up like an atomic bomb. Everything is cold and hot all at once. My heart feels like it's going to explode. But wouldn't you put like a little, I don't know. My heart feels like, like if it's just that it's going to explode, you think like, my heart feels like it's going to explode. It's like that guy like kind of, because like he's got energy and like, I was like a lot of, look at all this energy and there's not a fucking exclamation point. Like this guy's supposed to be getting like pumped up. Like he's like, this shit's bothering me. It's fucking gassing me up. The first thing I try to do is sync up with this guy, right? And then I don't want to force it because it's 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 fucking forcing him and forcing me and it's hurtful and there's just this fucking pain. But then we're like, it feels like an atomic bomb. I don't know. Is that like insinuated? I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm missing something here, but I feel like there should be like more. Uh, after four weeks of basic movement and breathing, we finally stop on the or we start on the pads. We're already behind. We should have already been sparring. Dad's completely obsessed with us covering up and blocking. Yeah, probably a fucking good thing. Learn to fucking dodge retard. Me, my focus is on limiting the response delay between me and two, three, two. When I punch, he punches. Right, yeah. Good idea. Ooh, got to get a rhythm going. Breathe out with every punch. Focus, punch, breathe. And when I think, and when I when I think right, two, three, two needs to throw the right. Focus, punch, breathe. So these are their gay power suits. This is the first time you're gonna get like full see the power suits here, or whatever it is. Which is like, don't these guys live in a fucking digital world? So they're like digital avatars putting on digital equipment? Or is that like the real world? No. No, no, no. Or wait, maybe? See, I thought, I thought this was posed as like this little jabroni here is this guy, right? So yeah, they're putting suits on. They're, they're living two lives. I guess that's their job in the game. Ugh. Sorry, I'm not trying to be rude. That's, that's different. Sorry, it's different. Um, oh, damn it. Did I not read this right? Fuck. I didn't do it right, did I? I read like a page down. I'm sorry. I swift my way to left to right to punch harder with the right. Focus, punch, breathe. Too slow. Punch, breathe. Punch. And when you think too slow. See, look, punch, breathe. Okay, whatever. I'm over that. Sorry. What's up, Rex? How's it going? I get confused by this shit because I'm dyslexic. I'm sorry. I'm not an old comic book fan. Hate on me. Don't care. Week six, 17 hours till little fight night. You should call it a night and get some shit. I have a big day tomorrow. I feel fine. I'm not I'm not ready to hit the sack just yet. Yo, Dad, I want you to check this out. See, if I drop my hand, I can generate more power on my cross. Dad, you watching? Yeah, Alex, I heard you. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. What are you looking at? Look, son, I don't care how much power you think you can throw. You just need to keep your hands up. 
What are you talking about? I'm going to need to. You want to end up like Mace, crippled, or even worse? Yeah? Like your brother? Dead? Look, there's emphasis. There's emphasis. What's that? He's like, he's like, your brother's dead? You come here. Hey, man. I feel like I'm going to explode. Hey, guys, I'm going to explode. I just don't understand that. I just, I don't know. Whatever. That bothers me. There's like so much rage and energy in this fucking picture, though. You know? Whatever. Here we go. Let's continue on. Alex, you don't get it. I'm in your corner, but that doesn't mean I'm here to coach you into winning this fight. I'm here to get you through this fight. I'm here to keep you the only... To, I'm here to keep the only son I got left alive. Listen, your family has lost enough. The only thing I need you to do is to come out of the cage of life and to keep what is life of this family together. So listen to me. Keep your damn hands up. Well, two, three, two, buddy. I guess it's just going to be me and you. Oh, this guy, this guy, he just, fucking, he just thinks nobody cares about him. What the fuck is it? He's like a little shrimp. Is that, the, is that this guy's personality? We got an Amaro here. He's like got confidence and he doesn't got confidence. Oh, he told that bitch fuck off, right? But at the... He's got sending me fucking mixed signals. So he has confidence in his MMA and all that other shit and it's stuck in sex life and all that, but... <sighs> But uh, whatever. Let's go over the strategy. Whop. I'm gonna shut up. You guys don't need to hear my thoughts. Just read this thing like I'm supposed to. It's been it's been nothing but twists and turns leading up to the fight tonight, ain't it, Toby? You said it, Charlie. Two, three, two. Leapfrog from his way right into this match was was originally supposed to be between Gun and Anatomic. He basically knocked out his girlfriend out of her shot at the crowd. This is not the first the first fight between Ruin and 232. Six years ago, debuting Pilot Gun Road into the world on Rex fighting on his brand new Rex, Ruin, and proceeded to litter the rings of the mangled bodies of Rexes and pilots alike. Anatomic, how do you really feel about the match tonight? Are you upset that Alex stole your spotlight? This is like the fight of Rock City has been fighting for years. Little T has been giving the fans what they want. How can I stand in the way of that? And how do you like the how do you how do you think the match went? I just want Alex to come back home safe so I can snuggle up with him and we can have marshmallows and he can rub my feet. And maybe this match will give you some extra intel on your future opponent, right? Um I don't got nothing to say. I played the fifth. Okay. What a classy gal. Hard to believe that she's a girlfriend of the grim faced Alex Stone. You think? You think? Well, I, I always suck this one up, dude. I'm sorry. You think? <laughs> I can't do this. Well, you got. Here we go. Here we go. Well, you think that he's had cleaned up the little act of the time has worked his way up to the grand champion? Two, three, two. How can anyone forget that horrible thing? I changed this up. Hold on. <coughs> well. Two, two, two. I don't even remember how I did that. There's been fucking ten different damn voices. You can hire me, Christopher Spot. I'll I'll come over there and voice character your shit, fucking dick bag. Um, how can anyone forget the horrible night when Ruin first landed? We're gonna this we're just gonna change the part of the first night. Rex is two three two cockpit and ended the career of the one of the most promising Rex fighters and defenders of Ark City. Speaking of Alex Stone, that's just another one. Of <laughs> oh God, stop. I got real in. Sorry. I got real silly in that last panel, and now it's kind of lingering on. I did say some extra shit, but it was kind of just basically blah, blah, blah. Um... Speaking, speaking of Alex Stone, that's yet another one of those twists in the story, is it? That's right, Toby. Alex Stone's brand new pilot of the Rex 232 just happens to be the younger brother of Nate Stone. This is probably the first time in history of Rex's fighting that I've ever heard of someone trying to pilot a Rex not cloned from their own genetic material. 
Well, folks, the planets have finally aligned to bring these two titans together for the rematch of the century. You guys loving this? This is this is he's doing a good job building up, I think. What do you guys think? Got a lot of pitter patter here. We got some back and forth. Dad's been coming out. We got a little building arc here, a little montage kind of Sheboygan here. Here we go. Here we go, guys. We'll get ready for this one. Ruin. Two, three, two. Ruin. Ruin. Two, three, two. Bunch of chanting. Man, you guys can practically taste the adrenaline in the air tonight. Lots of people cheering for Ruin and his pilot gun. And I'm not surprised at all. Despite his first controversial win against Rex 232, Gun has proved himself to be a top tier Rex fighter since. Well, I won't sell 232 short just yet. I hear a lot of excitement from the fans at the return of this legend. Since his debut fight against. <clears throat> since his debut fight. The mace a little over six years ago, Gunn and his Rex, Rune, had a solid record of 29 wins and just two ties. No defeats on the record for the Rex that Little T likes to call his special recipe. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> Let's say boys and girls. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the fight of the century, the ultimate revenge confrontation. In the blue corner, we have a ruin and his pilot, Gun Morden. You folks know him from his brutal beatdowns and the teeth rattling punches. He is promising a bloodthirsty night to prove without a doubt, once and for all, that he is the rightful champion of this city. And in the red corner, we have... Bonafide. Oh, I gotta read this like little T, right? Into the red. Now I can't even do it. I've already, I haven't heard little T in a minute. Damn it. In the red corner, we're gonna have the bonafide legend, the record holding 67 straight wins. And we know about that one loss, Rex 232, and his brand new pilot, Alex Stone. I know that was him talking the whole time. Sorry, guys. Took me a minute to recognize this. If you can't breathe, I'm seeing these two in the cages again. We managed to talk to both pilots in the backstage before the fight, didn't we, Toby? Didn't we? Sorry. That's right. Both seem to be in good spirits. Alex seemed very confident for the man in his first professional wreck. Maybe he's got a trick or two up his sleeves. Well, I'd hope to. I would hope so because what I heard from Gunn is. And I quote, I am here to break him piece by piece and put him out of his own misery. Do, 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 do. Look at this. You guys don't get this on other karaoke streams. Let's see here. That's what I got. Well, I got, well, I, I picked up, I got that. Did I get that? I don't know what I got. I got I got volume one and two off the Rex off the did I get second chance? No, maybe I did get whatever the coin slot one was. But I don't I'd have to look it up. I forget sometimes. All the time, because it's a bunch of stupid shit. Both Rexes are touching gloves and we're a thrown one. Whoa, right there the gate in Rex 232 was landed with a heavy right. Ruin slides easily out of the way despite being four tons heavier than his opponent. Do you think Ruin is out fast or is just two, three, two slow? Ouch! Two, three, two caught with a left hook from the Ruin, followed by a strong jab. Looks like Rex's two, three, two pilot's not reacting as fast as he should. Gah. Damn it, boy. Cover up. Hands up. Alex, angle out. Cover up. Counter. Counter! Look, his motherfucker puts a fucking excavation point fucking three times over there. Motherfuckers talk about going atomic and not a goddamn fuck excavation point. God, everybody else is way cooler than fucking Alex. He's a fucking shrimp. The fucking shrimp. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Things are already not looking good for 232. After eating those little, after those couple of punches, Alex needs to get some space between him and Ruin until he can figure out his 
range. Oh, that is one a hell of a kick there from Ruin. But put all his weight into it. Two, three, absor two, three, two absorbed all of it. He needs to start checking those kicks. God, there's no sound there for a kick. Sorry, guys. All right, make it. Look, looks like the kick did something all right. Two, three, two appears to be staggering, and he is rattled. Oh, man, you think Ruin knocked their connection loose? Alex, get your head in the game. Get your breathing straight. Your heart rate is all over the place. I'm trying. Two, three, two is two, three, two's not listening. That kick must have busted a second in his late suit. So why does that change color? See how much wider that is? That makes that confusing. Is there a reason that is like that? See, like I've seen that, and I'm thinking it's this guy talking. 232 talking. Right? Not Alex talking. Alex talking? 232. 232. Second announcer? First announcer? 232. Second announcer. That's probably not second announcer, but it looks like second announcer. Whatever. There we go. Back to the story. I will I will say things when it gets on my head. So look, guys, I'm not gonna fuck this up. We're gonna read this like this. Right? Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I've never seen such a Rex get hit this hard since Ruin broke Mesa's neck. Down goes two, three, two. This this isn't looking good for Alex Stone's Rex fighting debut. Damn it, move. <laughs> <laughs> I hope these are good sound effects, by the way, guys. I'm trying. Stay down, Alex. Stay down. Rex 232 is completely winded. The fight's over before it's even started. Those slow movements, he has no business being in the cage, folks. What are you doing? I said stay down, Alex. Stay down. I can't. Come on. Come on. Get back in sync. Breathe with me. Focus. Get to your feet. Oops. Sp oops. Spoke too soon. See, look, that is a different voice. Why wouldn't you use that a different fucking color? Why would you go yellow as that? I'm sorry. I'm fucking, I'm not colorblind, but imagine if I was colorblind. That'd be hard to fucking see. Maybe that's weird to throw out there like that, but, but I mean, that's very similar. I think this is the, I think this is 232 talking. But once again, I, it's hard to tell between announcer number two. And maybe I'm stupid. Because if you look, it is two. It's got no, it's gotta be the announcer, right? No, it's not because the way he's talking. But if you look, it fades out. Like you can see where my my common my my misconception is after so high, it fades out to a white, right? So it loses that color there. So in a conversation like this, it's gonna fade out shorter. If it's a longer conversation bubble, you know, it's gonna go wider. But that's more white than it is, you know, yellow. Maybe in hindsight, they could have used like a red or something like that to indicate two, three, two. I don't know. You guys, you guys can tell me what you think about that. Or maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I, maybe it should be easier for colorblind people, though. I would suggest that, like, if you are doing something like if that is the case, I'm, which it is probably, I'm just stupid and buzzed up. But colorblind case, I would change that because this makes it more difficult on. Because there probably is colorblind people buying this shit. That sounds silly, but there's probably a market for that. So there are probably people that are. Doesn't matter. Oops. <clears throat> we'll get back into it. Whoops. It looks spoke too soon, Charlie. Looks like Rex 232 is getting up. Yeah. Yes, but I still don't know what looks of him. There is no way lacing up with his brother's Rex isn't a handicap in this fight. <sighs> Takes a punch better than I remembered. Oh shit, we got. Oh god, look at who this. Let's see who the fuck that is. Jack. Jack, who the fuck is that? Jack, I have an idea who that is. Sorry, I got something on the page here. Get something right here on the page. Something right there. Got cleaned off. Okay. Sorry about that. 
Okay. <clears throat> Back to the show, guys. Back to the show here. Damn it, son. Why ain't you listening to me? Keep your hands up. You can't keep going backwards. Save by the bell. Two, three, two is just barely holding it together. Two steps back, then take an anger. You're going to have to march right up against the cage. Next round. Coming up, yeah. That's two fingers in my bum, yeah. Ooh, show me your dick. Oh, my God. Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. That's why. See, now I can't even do this right because I'm fucking distracted. Then why the hell is 232 checking out the hollow girl's butt? Was that even fucking... That, he's in love with that uh, stupid-ass bitch. Why would he be looking at this? Like, is that a joke? Like, she's hotter? Why would you joke about that infidelity? That's not cool, man. That's not cool, bro. It's not cool. Bro, that's not cool. <laughs> I don't know. Am I gonna, should I continue this, guy? Oh, shit. Should I continue this? We're halfway through it. Damn. I think adding all this fucking voice makes this shit longer, don't it? Oh, there's probably like a fucking third of this book. So it's just a fucking coloring book. Oh, fuck. We're almost done with this. Okay, we got like eight pages left. <clears throat> we can fucking mock this thing out. It's all like coloring book in the back. Oops. Whatever. Okay, here we go. I can't tell. I can't tell Dad what kick temporarily severed the connection between me. Okay. Okay. I gotta find a voice for two three two because he should be like a badass guy. And seeing Shane doesn't have a fucking this is see how confusing this is. I guess it look a square block. I guess that's not that confusing, right? But is it does it is that what it is earlier? That's what I'm saying. Like, is it consistent with that? It is square block there. Now I'm confused. This is a square block, but it still can fuck confuses me. I don't. I, I. I get that it's a square block. Okay, so that's my bad for not paying attention to that. So that is my bad. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But the colors are conf the the color. Confuses me because it, it if you're not paying attention to that, they look almost identical. Um, whatever. We gotta make a we gotta make a voice for this guy. Seems I haven't made a voice and I've already read like three quarters of the second book. I can tell that that kicked temporarily saw the connection between me and Rex two thirty two. Wait, so is it him talking now or not? See, now I'm even more confused. So the Rex doesn't talk, but she was talking to her fucking. She was talking with Razor. Wasn't she? Wasn't she talking to Razor? Where was that? Yeah, she's talking to Razor. What the fuck is that? Man, I might be fucking high. I swear the bitch was talking. Razor was talking to this motherfucker. No, it's not that. Oh, wait. Okay, so she's got a purple thing. She's square purple, too. What does to deal with that? Okay, so square are the bots. So I guess Razor, Razor can't take much more of this. Gotta make this count. So I, Okay, so where does that voice come from, then? Where Where is this Where is this voice? So is that the person that when they're in the suit, they take on... Is that like... Okay, so that's the person in the suit with their voice. Okay. I'm stupid. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry about that. So I do need to make a fucking... So so they got a dumbass voice, though, when they're in a, another thing. So they have the voice of the thing that they're in? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I got to smoke a cigarette because this is fucking getting a little retarded here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so there is a different voice that's maintained from fucking... Hold on, hold on. There's a different voice that this second thing has then, right? Is that what's going on here? So when they're talking out loud, they're basically talking in the sound of that other person, but they're not actually talking out loud. They're talking in their head, but it sounds like the monster they're in. Is that right? Or am I paying too much attention to detail? Too much attention? You guys can tell me because I'm stupid sometimes. 
Okay, nobody cares. Good to know. Okay. Let's get back to the book. That's what everybody's here for. That's what I'm here for. It just it, it bothers me because I'm doing the damn audio of this. If I wasn't doing audio, well, it, it, it doesn't bother me even reading the damn thing. It makes it hard to tell. I can't tell that, Dad. I can't tell Dad that that can't temporarily say. I'm going to make fucking this guy sound like a fucking robot because I'm pissed off now. I can't tell Dad that fucking 232 sounds like a robot with fucking Jake the Snake Nate up his butt. Um, I can't tell Dad that kick temporarily severed the connection between me and Rex 232. It's back on time, but it feels weaker now. If he knows, we will call off the fight and, and we're off. Is that right? Am I being stupid, guys? Am I being stupid here? If I am, let me know. Oof, 232 is not looking any better this round. It appears he's moving fast, but he's still not fighting back. Ouch, side kick to the old bread box. That's Rex. He's just eating, eating all those shots like he's at an all-you-can-eat buffet. 23 is starting to fight. 232 is starting to fight back. Round three. What's that? What's that like? I guess I can turn my brain off for a minute. Ooh, well, now look at that stuff the crowd's been waiting for. What was that? That's not Alex's usual fighting stance. He's moving differently. Move, move fluid somehow. Oh, boy, and Ruin goes off. He, he's going to need to take back real quick. Toby costs 232. Two. It's starting to look like a completely different beast out there. <laughs> Alex, you must... Alex must finally be getting the hang of the lace suit because that combination was smooth. I don't know what's got into this young man, but he might damn well be... Dang. I think I went to take on one good one or don't. I don't know what got into this young man, but the, but the might damn well be witnessing a phoenix rising from the ashes. This could be a return to the crown for 232. Two. Oh, sorry, guys. Round four. Remember, guys, they said he, Little T said he wanted to go five rounds. Fucking no shit. And then he said he's going to use the fucking goo on him. Remember, that was foreshadowing. Oh boy, the kid glow. Oh boy, the kid gloves are off. Whoa, my god, that's a devastating blow for two, three, two. Not the two, sorry, two. He's out. He's out. He's going down. Is it over? Is it over? Kata. Kata, 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 kata. This is, look, there's fresh ashes on this, too. Okay. Every time I... Every time I feel like I'm getting better, I just look worse when sparring. I just, I just don't know what to tell him, Nate. I'm having more off days than good days. I just don't know if I'm ever going to be great like you. Oh, I fucked that up, didn't I? I don't know. Did I? I don't know. What do you mean? You don't look bad. Why is it always a gonna fucking... Eh. Don't worry about it. Being great, everybody that I ever fought was great. You need to worry about becoming epic. That's how you become one, number one. It takes someone epic to win fights and defend the city. Oh, okay, then. Do you think I'll ever become epic, Greg Baller? I don't know, little bro. That's entirely up to you. But when that moment comes, and I hope I'm there to see him, 232 two is getting back up. Damn it, Alex. Stay down. I'm not the one getting back up, Dad. Uh-oh, 232 is fucking raging. He's raging. Put my cigarette down. This is getting inspirational. Here we go. 
We have to call it. You put up a good fight. A lot of you hot. Ruins evolved since the fight. But 232 two hasn't. I'm going to call it, son. I know the odds. I know your state. <clears throat> I know the state you're somewhere near for the ultra round. 232 two can't. We, we can't win. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Did two, two, three, two just speak? Yeah, Daddy said. Oh, I didn't say. It. <laughs> Damn it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry I had to finish this. And here, and here we are, round five. The fist lights up. The fights up for the ultra round. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. You can hear him fucking stumble across the arena. Here, here, here we go, folks. The ultra round with both Rexes coming in it with one final punch. Dun, dun, dun. When both fighters have been building up their kinetic energy through the match, and now they'll unleash it with all one punch. Ruin, ruin, blah, blah, blah. ruin stats are thoroughly are through the roof, but 232 two is absolutely no match for the raw power, and it's going to be pretty. You're not about to witness the death of the legend. <laughs> You know what everyone in this everyone's thinking. I can't win. Oh shit, it did the square box. Hold on. Cigarette drop. See that did the square box on me. Good thing to know. We got fucking round fucking boxes. Round boxes, square boxes. What well, makes it fucking confusing that you got the announcer that looks like the same fucking person. Sorry. But like that's so confusing, dude. I'm sorry. I, I know I've occurred it a few times, but like, jeez, color change, dude. We're a fucking wiggly box. Jesus, I don't know. Rounded edges, the squared edge. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm speaking for future sense. It's like, I don't know. That just makes it confusing when I'm trying to read it with emphasis and pizzazz on it. So I don't know about you guys. I like to give characters. Fucking persona, obviously. Jesus. Could have read this sucking monotone. And I know that one everyone is thinking, I can't win. There is no way I'm going. That's how that guy sounds, though. He kind of sounds like a fucking shrimp. A little baby back bitch. But I think that's his personality. And well, that's fine. Okay, back to the story. Oh, yeah, I made this guy sound like a robot. I say, I know what everyone is thinking. I can't win. There is no way I'm going to win this match. I have one punch against ruins. This is going to totally ruin the music. And that's what you get for fucking me on my boxes. This, this really confused me. And I'm sorry. But this is, this is my natural defense. I have one punch against Ruin, except he is a million times stronger than 232. 232's joints start to pop and crackle. I feel less legs start to buckle from the force. The odds are completely against us. But here's the thing I didn't come here to win this fight. See that ripping suck the feet off? He's like going for the gold, baby. <clears throat> going for the gold. I came here to end it. I'll give him a cool end of the voice. I'm still mad. Whoa! Two, three, two just slipped a punch. What is he trying to do? Oh, holy! He just went up and gave a massive body shot to ruin. He broke the rules of the ultra round. Two, three, two is not stopping. Ruin is dazed and he is taking advantage of it. <laughs> Looks like he's fucking getting knocked out of that bitch. My, my God, gun's been knocked loose. The pilot is out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
What's happening? What did he? What did we just witness? Somebody needs to stop this fight now. Ruin is down and Gun is defenseless. Two three two is going crazy. He's going to crush Gun. Why is no one? Why is no one trying to override two three two's aggression protocol? Alex, Alex, that's disengaged from two three two. I'll challenge you to a fight, Gun, a real one. Right here. That should stop 232's rampage right now in front of everyone. Oh, shit. MMA career. He's about to bust it. He's about to bust it. Hold on. Let's see what we got left here. I'm going to say. Getting excited. We're going to have to open the other one up. But we're not doing that tonight. I got to relax after this. <coughs> We're almost there, ladies and gents. Folks, this is the absolute most insane Rex fight I've seen, I've ever witnessed in my years. It seems like Alex is challenging gun to hand to hand combat. So, and it looks like God is gonna is going along with it. The crowd is going wild. Life is oh, I gotta make him badass again. That's right. Life is about taking these punches and throws at you. I've waited for this moment to start throwing back. Everything slows down. Everything goes quiet. Everything goes hot. I hear a sound. Plates crackling. I realize I've convinced his, I've convinced his face to turn loose to his teeth. And then I hear another sound. Stop! Life's begging me to stop. Please, please, man. Or wait, how did I get? Please, stop. And then it hits me. This isn't life's adversaries. What's before me is just a man. A man made to bleed. Yeah, I like that. I like you like that weasel announcer. He is I, I felt like you gotta do one like deep and then one kind of high pitch because it's just good contrast, right? Okay. It's over. Gun is out. Someone get in, get the medic in here. I feel the heat behind me. It's not from the spotlights. It's Rex 232. I know I know what you want, but it's not gonna do it. Everyone saw him lose. Lose to me. He's done. He will have to live with this shame for the rest of his life. I'm towering over this bitch. Ah, oh, damn it. Did I do this wrong again? I always do this. Fuck. Oh. I don't. I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. It's not going to bring him back, Nate. Nothing can change that. No matter what we do, he's gone. Uh, something is something is off about 232. He's still displaying a lot of aggression without a pilot plugged in. This is not good for the two pilots trapped in the cage with him. See? Seems like there's an argument going on between Alex and 232, and that makes no sense. Yeah. When a pilot disengages from a Rex, it's supposed to automatically stop complicated aggressions. Wait, now I'm doing it different. No, wait, no, that's right. When a pilot disengages from a Rex, it's... I don't even know. Dude. It's so hard to keep up with all these sucking voices, man. Whew. Okay. Let's continue. Automatically step... Well... No, I think that's right. Supposed to take aggressions. That's a safety measure for the city. Ugh. Two, three, two. Just turned on what's left of the of left of ruin. He has beaten the absolute crap out of him. My my God, he's tearing him apart. He's out of control. Ugh. Look 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 at the ugh. look at the monster. He's ugh, I can't even do it now. Damn, dude, I gotta finish this. Look at the monster. He's holding Ruin's head up like a trophy. Oh, shit. Rex 232 is the winner. It's the return of the king, folks. With Ruin dead, the technicality gives 232 back the crown. 
And the citizens of Ark City are absolutely going crazy. 232 reclaimed his place at the legendary Rex Champion. Un unbelievable is the comeback story of the ages. If Nate Stone was here today, I'm sure he'd be proud. Mm. Alex, Alex, three, two, Alex, two, three, two. Roar from the crowd. <sighs> <laughs> Epic. I've, I've never seen anything like this before. What do you think this means, Charlie? I'm more convinced about what this means for his next challenger because 232 two is dangerous. That's right. According to the Rex's rating, that would be a pit at the atomic against 232 two for a shot at the crowd. It's looking, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see those two lovebirds going up against each other. Oh, uh, oh! Sounds like a trouble in paradise, Toby. Nate, Nate, I hope you saw this. Alex, what have you done? I've won. I hope you're, I hope you're up there, looking down somewhere. I hope you can see what I've become. I took those punches. Waited for my time, and I hit back even harder. I hope you're proud of me, Nate. I found my own way to, to be more, more than just great. I want you to live up to the city's, the city's hopes for me as the greatest champion. I know you're in my corner. We haven't done a quality page update here. Still looking pretty good. Nothing I've seen with the eye. Nothing I see with the camera. Okay, let's continue on. <clears throat> I am now responsible for the city, for the people of this Ark City. Oh, I got to do the badass guy. So I am now responsible for the people of Ark City. I will be the protector just like you used to be. I hope that means something. You always gave your, your all in the world, no matter if you were in the cage or outside of it. I'm going to defend. The, the city the way I defended your title. <laughs> and God, help anyone that gets in the way. Whoa. Did he evolve? Whoa. 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 And that's it. There's some bonus materials. We've got coloring book. See, look. There's the Inglorious Volume 1 cover. There's the 24 hour cover. That one's hotter than mine. That's got more ass than my fucking one I bought. Coins that one. Bullshit. There's Coach's cover. Good job, Coach. Looks pretty all right. I don't know. Blood, Sweat, and Tears Volume 1, Rex 232. Look at that. I like this one. This is who. Oh, this is fan art. That's pretty neat. Here we go. Bud Sweat, Alex Stone. That's pretty cool. Um, and Glorious Rex fan art contest winner. We got Adam Miller. I like this. This looks pretty good. Man, yeah, that looks really good. Here's uh, number two, Mike Wilson. Doo -doo -doo. Look at that. Look at them hips. Now that is a bit more attracting. That that looks a little weird. Whatever this fan art. Tommy Graphite. I hear fan art. She really got that shit. Poppy. Okay. And then here's some uh, color tests. Always good colors. Orange is always a good color. I think they green fucking done well too. Contrast, right? Contrast, and you got purple from the other guy, and you get that rotation of that color wheel. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Look, some black and whites. How's that next time? Is that him leaving the city? I'm watching the fights. I don't know. That's it, guys. That's that. Let me put my camera back up here. Do, do, do. 
Hold on one moment, guys. Okay, what do everybody say? We'll take a let's I'm gonna grab a drink and then let's guys if you guys want to talk we'll talk about it for a moment if you guys would like. And then I'm gonna move on. Right, car and then go harass somebody. One or two. Um hold on. Let me get a drink, I'll come back and talk. <clears throat> Okay, well, because you know how I am. We got to do it. We got to break it down a little bit. We got to break it down a little bit, right? I wish I could have kept notes while I was doing this, but it's tough to read this and do lots of different voices. But I wanted to do voices for you guys because they've been dull if I just read it. So that's a bonus for y'all. Fucking more. I'm like sweating. Dude. I was like, that's a task, man. Get the light on me, all that shit. I'm trying to think all this shit. I'm supposed to be like kind of drunk. You guys just took it out of me. Look, I made sure to be prepared. See that? Pedialyte. That's how you get yourself fueled up. Make sure you don't get no hangovers, none of them boygans. So when I hit that hard right now, throw them electrolytes. Yeah, you know, purple because purple is probably one of the best ones. Um, we'll break it down here. One moment here, Jack. I don't do value. I can't do value on that shit. I don't know how to do that. I would. Was it worth the wait? Was it worth the wait? I think this is better than Cyberfrog, but I don't like Eggman Cyberfrog. I just don't like anything about it. I don't say that like the writing's bad or anything, or the colors or the pictures. You know, little kids and shit might like. I just don't like it. I don't like that. It's not just the artists. I just don't like the premise of a cyber frog. If we're going to compare it to the king, and we all know Rex is the king. Well, rather, 232 is the fucking king. Um, let's break it down. Let's break it down a little bit. Let's talk about it. So I'm saying, let's talk about this. I got to take this fucking thing out. That's why I'm hot. Take that off. Turn that off. Okay. Yep. It's late and gay here with Cecil and Kumala. Okay. We'll just put my head up here so you don't see all that shit. Okay. Let's. Oh, let's break it. Break down it. Damn. So, what do we get told in this story? What do we get told in this story? We got because if we're gonna do this, we let's do it. Fucking let's half-ass try to do it, right? What do we get told in this story? We learned about the main character. Was it Adam? Hell, I already forgot. I'm bad about names. <laughs> that's sad. Doesn't matter. We're going to call him 232 because that's who he's going to be. Pop. Pretty sure it's Adam. Yeah, it's sucking Adam. Pretty sure it's Adam. No, it's Nate. It's Nate Stone. Dumbass. His brother was Adam. Or Alex. That's what it is. I knew it was the name. Doesn't matter. What we learned about him. He did MMA. He fucking lived in his brother's shadow. He's a basic bitch. We caught from the first because, like, what do you, what would you guys say? How many like little arcs would you say was it was in this book? We've got an arc that talks about his brother. An arc that talks about his brother gives us some backstory, gives us a little bit of his life, introduces us to the the bad guy, the the McMahon of the story, right, Little T. Because we could consider this like WWE and shit like that, right? Fighting the Dana White, whatever. So we got that. Then we get told. We get a little story about. Uh, we get we get the bad guy coming and basically telling us that. Hey, we're gonna give you a chance, even though this shit fucked up. We're gonna give you a chance or whatever. Which there's a lot of foreshadowing with this little T guy, which which. If, you, if anybody's watched Shane streams and it watched him do any of this coloring around, he's very, uh, or at least he used to be. I don't know if he is anymore. I don't watch a lot of that shit anymore because that shit kind of ruins it for me. I don't like 
Shane will give out a lot of information sometimes, like spoilers. Um, but sometimes some stuff don't bother. So you forget it sometimes. Hell, I bought this book back in what, November or something? I will say this. He got the book here. Pretty good time. Um, back to what I was saying, though. So we got the story of T. T giving this guy an ultimatum, giving him a reason, really giving him a reason to live, give him a chance to fucking avenge his brother. Right, we're going to do a little quick summary here. Sorry. Yeah, it's Alex. Sorry. Well, I'm going to do a little quick recap here, and then we'll go back over it because it'll give me a little refresh. I did just read it, but I read it in like fucking 10 different voices, so I'm kind of... Sorry, sorry. So we got to see his girlfriend. We got to see that she's powerful, but she's not like crazy powerful. And we got to see the supposed bad guy that killed the brother who Alex Hookham wants to avenge. Blah, blah, blah. Another ultimatum. You know, hey, I'm going to kick his ass. They're building the fight up, building up the fight. This is all filler right here. There, there's, there's decent filler in here, but it's not, I don't feel like there's too much. It's not like a point where it's like thrown at you. You know, it's giving you enough story. This is building you up for the fucking fight, which is very cool. This is really neat because that gives you a good idea. Like for him, like, and like this fighting thing, like any fighting one, it gives you time to build up because you can just sit and talk about things behind the scenes, which is kind of cool without like being right in their personal life and have to see that, which is kind of neat. Then you kind of explore, you know, the environment or the world, you know, because there can be some world build, building to this because I think. He talked about before outside the wall or something like that. Um, what's up, Phil? But um, so recap. Um, and then we meet up with the dad who's basically been like keeping up with, with his brother's thing. He's basically been feeding this one a day. I don't know why they're keeping it alive, even or how long ago it's been. It doesn't, I don't think it says specifically how long it's been. Since the brother died, it just said a match ago. We don't know how long that match is. We know that the, the son like has, it seems like nothing to do with the father because he's just now asking, or what it feels like is he's just now asking, which, which is weird. Because it's like he knows 232, two, but he doesn't. It's like his brother, right? Okay, so we'll keep going. And then this is about where I get pissed off. Oh, and then there's some treachery afoot. Treachery afoot. He said, hey, we got to make this look real. And the guy should have fucked him up, but he didn't. And I was mad because he didn't drown him. And I don't know what that... That might be foreshadowing later. Maybe he drowned him in his own pain or something. Huh. Maybe he took over him like an evil way. Who knows? And then this is where I get pissed off because the dude fucking... Mix square boxes with yellow and then add fucking circle boxes with yellow, but then every other fucking box looks more different. What they look well, they both look stupid. That's my biggest pet peeve out of this fucking thing. I'm I'm taking off I'm taking off one point for me trying to read this stupid ass shit. I should take off two points for it because it's like reading it and trying to say it, say it out loud. I'm taking off one point though for that because that pissed me off. And that was something that was like reoccurring because it made it hard for me to so we're going from white boxes talking, right? But we're trying to put an emphasis like these guys are talking outside their head. You can't like, you can't, in my opinion, you can't act like you're talking. You bitch. You know, this is being said through the second monster, through the second Rex, right? So she's not going to, when she's talking, she doesn't have these sucking bubbles, dude. The guy doesn't have a yellow bubble when he talks. She doesn't have a pink one, but when she's in the thing. Not confusing here. I can I can emphasize that she is in this. It shows it. The color shows this shit. It shows the shit. Sorry, this is a pet peeve I have, and this is I'm taking a point off of it. I mean, for to be honest, let's just keep moving here for it. Um, so that's where I get a little upset there. You can go back and watch me cry about it, being a little bitch. And then um they build up the fight, they do the little montage here. He's getting back in the suit, trying to become one with the guy. Um, blah, 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 blah. Then, and then his dad's like, you're never going to be your brother. Blah, blah, blah. Because he's sucking his little bitch, too. Because everybody's sucking panties. But it's real. So, but is that rude? I, I don't know. Maybe it ain't. Sorry. That's a sh I might not be good for summaries. I might be better reading these with multiple voices. And then 
to basically go back into getting ready for the fight. The fight starts. He's getting his ass whooped. They go back and forth, back and forth. He's losing touch, gaining touch, losing touch. Dad doesn't know what to do with him, blah, blah, blah. Dad's a wiener. Then we got a fucking old two-finger discount in here. That that That's minus a point, too. There's a minus in points. Okay, that's two points. So right now you're at eight. Everything else I'm liking, though. But I'm fucking, if we're going to critique shit, you're at eight. Um, everything else looks pretty good so far. Um, let's see. Boom, boom. Like I said, back and forth fight. He's getting his ass whooped, getting his ass whooped, trying to get connected, trying to become one with it. Then we get a fucking, we get a fucking montage back. We get a fucking post scene back into the life after he gets knocked on his ass and he realizes this life isn't all about him. It's about others and the heart of the cards. Everybody knows the heart of the cards. And he just stuck and does some crazy shit. He busts this dude out and then fucking just straight wants to fight him. And then fucking the Rex murks his ass. And that's pretty much it. And then he cries to his brother, who's a pigeon. Which I don't know if that's a Michael Mike Tyson reference. So um so honestly, we got two points of the deduction here. One for the fucking shitty bubbling and stuff that made it a bit confusing for myself. Um, in comparison to other things. Um, for one, which is very petty, but I can be like that. For two, Mandy's in there, so that's minus fucking... It should be minus two points. But that's a perfect preference, so I'll really minus one point. But no, like, for, uh, for real, though, I get this, I don't know, like, this is a good book. I liked it. I liked it. This is pretty good. For, like, one volume, I was entertained. Were you guys entertained? Do you guys like it? I mean, it's pretty good. I give it like a seven, seven and a half. I don't like grading shit. That's just what I like and what you like. For a, for a book, first time reading, would I pick this book up and go read another one? Hmm. Now that's the question, ain't it? Now this book was fun, but did the last part really br like... That's the question here. What kind of cliffhanger did we live on on the end? What What's the hook? I don't think there was a hook. So that's kind of a turnoff. Oh, we're going to take the next fight? But it's against her, but she's not really like, she hasn't been deemed a threat other than the fact that that's his girlfriend, right? You know, so... um it's a lot deeper than a lot of. Okay. Um, but I mean, I mean, we don't know what kind of existential threat she is. We know she was the one that was going up for the title, but we know that 232 just destroyed this guy and literally will kill the fucking Rex to get the title. And if he doesn't have control, that's what's going to be happening. So it, did the love, okay, here we go. Did the passion between both of them, did the did the love swirl they had to woo me enough to maybe want to get it? Or even maybe not really. Not really. Not really. Like I'm, I feel like there's a missing hook here. Maybe other than trying to see that he's gonna get control of him. But I mean, that's kind of inevitable, right? We know maybe it's not. Maybe we want him to rip her apart. But it, that love interest doesn't really. It didn't, it wasn't the main thing. You know, there's what, five or six, pa five pages maybe of it, um, of her talking, if that, and they were with him. So I don't, I don't know. The lovers, that lovers thing, I don't know, has much as influence as his brother. She don't mean shit to me. You know, obviously his relationship with that uh, Rex means a lot more than uh, the relationship with her. I think because that's her, that's his brother. That's literally his brother there. So maybe I'm missing something being conveyed. Um, my opinion. Would I buy the next book? Yeah, because I did buy the next book. I got volume two sitting right over there. <laughs> so I will get it. But we'll see what the next one takes the hook on. I mean... Um,
Yeah, I liked it. What do I got? I don't know what to say. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, Jack had a couple like here things. Okay. Jack had a couple things here. Said so immediate value for your money if you felt it was worth the amount and the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I got this faster than I got other shit, and it was better than that. I'm I'm all about uh getting stuff on. I'll I'll, I'll sacrifice. I don't know if you if you're one. I'll sacrifice. Uh, well, we can argue quality can be we can we could sit here and argue quality all day riding or editing text all that shit. <laughs> I don't know what I was getting at there. So. Yeah, no, I agree with you on that, Jack. The art looked good. I agree with you on that. The art looked pretty good for digital shit, for sure. There's a lot of shitty digital art out there. For shizzles. Yes, this pages. I thought the art looked pretty dang good though. Oh, there, you like did you like the eyebrow guys I was making fun of? That shit's funny. That shit does bother me, dude. I, I'll go into something else that I got another book that bothers me. I was reading just the other day. Where it looked like they were it looked like they were drawn and then like superimposed, like cut out and pasted back there and then shrunk. It doesn't look right when you do that shit. I got eyes for that. Look at that. Got eyes for that shit. Um, sorry, back to what you're saying. I thought it was decent, not really good. Story was decent. Yeah, the story was decent. I give that. Yeah, it probably fucking. I don't know. We'll do a, what three out of four? Four out of five? I don't know. Fucking seven and a half out of ten. It's a it's a solid seven, seven and a half. I'm not eight. I don't know. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna get into that. It was it was it was a it was above average fucking book. It was good. I'm buying the other one because I already bought it. If I wouldn't have bought the, if I wouldn't have bought this, would I have bought the next one? I don't know. But the art looked good. The story was good. Did it fuck it? Like I said, did it rile me up for the next one? I don't know. It didn't feel like it. Like it just kind of just poof. You know what I mean? Like the end just poof. Did it feel like that to you guys? I just didn't feel like there's got to be some kind of. Sorry. There's got to be some something like to bring you back, right? I just didn't feel that. What do you guys think? Anybody? <gasps> Put the wrong button. Uh oh. Okay, that's six. I should be HDMI. I should be display. Okay, notice the back is black and the ink holding up on the page. A lot of time it smudges. That's a good question, Jack. Let's see. I've had my hands there. I've indented the shit out of it. And it looks like I have some nice fucking McChicken fucking grease prints on there. So let's take a good look at that. So there is some smudgings from probably that big chicken I ate earlier. You can see the indentions here from my hand from holding it back. That's just me from holding it back. You can see my fingers. <laughs> I don't know. You can see though definitely where I have my two fingers out on this fucking thing. Same spot. Right here too. And on the back of the spine. But uh no, it doesn't look like the black came off now. So yeah, there's that. There was uh Glorious Rex. I'm not a reviewer or anything, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh a live reading that was totally off the cuff tonight, guys. Um, 
told you guys I wanted to surprise you with something, didn't I? I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been like kicking. I've, I've been not kicking, but I've been behind the ball when it comes to getting some of these books read, and that kind of was the push I needed. Get on here, get a little voice. Jane got a good book. Bo Jane had a good book though that I could give a, a voice to too. So I do want to give him a shout out for that. Um, a lot of different voices, a lot of different perspectives in this, but not too many perspectives. I want to make sure that's known too, because you get too many characters, and it's that maybe that's what happened. Maybe part of that was, uh, maybe there was a little bit of extra in there, and it threw me off. Which maybe I don't know. I just felt like there wasn't enough gamble. Maybe I'm missing it. I maybe I'm missing the mark. I apologize if I am. It just didn't like the existential threat. Just seemed like two, three, two. Is that what I'm supposed to be scared about? What's supposed to fucking draw me back? That that's what I'm asking. Jack, well, Jack, what draw Jack from that story? What would you say draw would draw you back to that? Oopsies. Would like what would I give you eight ducks for the voice action? Oh yeah, I'll take eight ducks. I'll take two ducks. And a partridge in a pear tree. Dad's over there busting it up. He just woke up from his nap. We have a busy day today. Um, I, was it a good book? Yeah. I liked it. I'm going to buy the next one because I already bought it. I don't like the speech bubble thing, so I'm taking a point off of that. I'm not gonna. I'm not even batting an eye on that because I'm not gonna give. Because like, if we're gonna critique other things and stuff, and I feel like I could be more. The writing and shit for the most part was good. There was some, some spots in there. Like I could tell. Like you could like. I, I don't know if Yandy did it say Yandy does the editing or something. You could or writing. I may have missed that. I'm not getting it back out of the package either. We could tell where there was corrections in between the two, for sure. The way they talked, the way one would talk, and the way the other one would talk. What's up, Apex? Sorry, I'm just rambling here. If I'm still up, I'll, I'll watch. Um, couldn't help comparing it to Rocky, so each movie, you know, is going to be another fight. The opponent had to bring up. See now, see now. I don't know if you guys ever see now. When it comes to fighting spirit, have you guys? When it comes to fighting spirit, when it comes to uh, fighting stuff, like I take fuck Rocky. I like uh, fighting spirit. Hemo, 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 ichi, ipo, ipo, makinuchi. Sorry, I say. I think I was trying to say the Japanese name. Fighting spirit. Ipo makinuchi. Now that is one of my favorite fucking uh, boxing, uh, bam, animes and mangas. I guess it's still going today. I didn't even know it was still going today, but um, I really like the old ones from the eighties, nineties. I think it is. But uh, for real though, Jack, what do you think? Is that, like, what is that? The thrill of it is just coming back for the next fight. But it didn't feel like he was that. Do you feel like he was that underdog though, like Rocky? That's what that's what I don't get. I, I wish Apex I could turn into a Gundam. No, that's the thing I don't, don't understand. Dude, like, I don't know. I'll have to read the second one, I guess, and maybe maybe it'll have the same taste. I just didn't. It was a good build up. I felt like there was a good build up. The story came out. I learned a lot about the character. I learned about his bay. You know, I learned about the back. Like, it, it was good context for the first book going on. You know, f talking for about the first half. There was battle, what, fucking 50% of the book? Maybe 60% of the book? Action. That was the action, right? Whether it be him sparring or whatever. Um, I just didn't, I just didn't feel an existential threat. And, and I don't know. That's the one thing that's bothering me. So, like I said, that's why I'm gonna give it seven and a half. That's what I give it seven and a half. But my, like I said, I'm pretty nice with my shit. I could be like eight or nine, but there's not gonna be a shit I'm gonna give eight or nine, to be honest. 
Like, you got to have some killer shit. Oh, no, you know what? I like Aaron, Aaron Lepresti's book that I got. The last one was probably like a fucking nine. It was like three books in one, though. It's pretty good. Ah, oh, it's tasty. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I just, that's the one thing I miss. I want to know. There's got to be something. Maybe I'm spoiled with manga. Like, there's always a hook. I just didn't feel the hook. He's sitting there crying to his brother. That's like a fucking pigeon. Fair? Well, well, fair, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's shit. I mean, it's above average. It's a good book. Is, is it fucking the next best thing? I don't know. No, probably not. I mean, it's a good book, though. I mean, what's the next best thing? An isekai? You know, I'm not here to tell you what what the next best thing is. Because it's probably going to be isekai, which, fuck isekai, that shit's lame as fuck. Okay, well, guys, I think we're going to conclude that, unless you guys got any questions about the book or anything. Is it really, really, really good? I thought it was, it was pretty good. Hey, if you guys had, the, if you got any questions, Tadler, and you dipped out and you didn't, there's a full read. I don't know how long it took me to read the damn thing. <clears throat> and I'm not sitting here and trying to sissy slam this. Like, not like, oh, this guy, oh, I love him. I'm going to sissy slam him, you know. That's just my honest review. And I've been drinking tonight. That's probably the best time to do a fucking review because it's going to be the most honest. <laughs> Drunk me. But now sober me might think a little different. Drunk, you know, I'm, I'm over, I'll try. I'll, I'll go back. I'm not going to go through it fucking for a minute, to be honest. They got other books. But um, I'll go back and check it over, I guess. I don't know. Sober. So for the most part, I think everything I wanted to critique or everything that I had an issue with pretty much stated. I didn't like the speech bubbles on a couple things. Uh, that's kind of particular, but it can be confusing. So, yeah. But the problem is, Hadler, what's it setting up? What's that? It didn't set up anything. He set up that he might be. You know, he's 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 gonna have to fight his girlfriend, but she's not that strong. Like nothing from that, nothing from her fight that reflects to his fight. Shows that she's any stronger. Or she's got some crazy shit now. Could she? Could she have a rage or something we don't know about? Sure, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Unless somebody like juices her up or something like he, like they do with uh, Alan B in the gun, Mobile G Gundam series, where they juice her up with like a berserk mode or something like that. But that's what I'm saying. Like even with like even with manga or something, there's there's a hook. Until next time. Like this, this is how it went. I hope I did well for you, brother. I'm just a weak little shrimp, but I'm showing you now that since you died, I can walk in your fucking shadow, and I can be strong like you told me. Like it's just stuck, real fucking limp dick shit. Which I get if that's that guy's personality, I get. But we, when it comes off the first fucking pages, this guy's a fucking hard ass, a badass MMA guy, which seems pretty badass to me. Because he's a Rex, a Rex fucking fighter. That'd be like the fucking Super Bowl of shit, dude. You're the top. You're the king shit of Turbo Mountain. You know what I mean? It's a little different than fucking like sparring, which seems pretty respectable and shit in its own and its own aspect, its own nature. But what's the threat? That's what I'm saying. He seems like a badass. Everything is like maybe he's too badass. Maybe he's too badass. That's what I'll get. That I don't get the hook. What's the hook gonna be? Uh oh, y'all see what the hook is gonna be? That's a, that's the a thing right there. Like if I wanted, if I didn't buy the second one, what would make me want to buy the next one to see the next fight? But just from this first book, I mean, there there's not enough information about her, right? So we could play these same games we we everybody else plays when we do reviews. We'll be honest with it, I guess. We'll be super credibly honest. But it's like there's nothing there that makes her a threat. Nothing that makes her a threat. Other that there's an emotional attachment.
but we already know that he's torn between his brother's lost soul and 232. And we kind of think that he likes her. We don't know that. We know he likes this 232 more than he likes her. He's sucking her in the real world, right? But then when he cybers up or whatever, he's... But that they 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 don't cyber up. That's what I don't understand. Oh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm I'm getting extensed flip flopped in my head. Um, that was part of my problem earlier. I knew there was something wrong. Um, that's one thing that confused me earlier. I want to reiterate. I know I was getting confused by the guy and then putting on the suit, and that was I was confusing extensed with that. So that wasn't a qualm. That didn't have anything to do with the review. At all, something I was bitching about early on about it, which I, I cracked right there. Sorry, but for the most part, yeah, I don't know. It's a good book. It's a good book. I think we're gonna end her there, and Caleb's gonna say, ah, "Here we go, Fuji Dragon Ball." Yeah, but just like those round lines. Hold on, we're doing, we're gonna do this right. We're going to do this thing here. God, this needs to be better. Okay, this is the more you know with Caleb. Don't make the fucking boxes fucking square at some round and then have the same fucking color when you got multiple voices. It makes it fucking annoying for people like me who's trying to read this shit to people with like 18 different voices trying to make it entertaining. Okay, which it was pretty entertaining already, but it makes it hard to make it even more entertaining or even display that entertainment, affectionate entertainment to people when they can't fucking read the dumb fucking boxes. I'm sorry. Bad, good. That's my wild side. There's more you know. By Caleb. Okay, guys. Yeah, go back. Go back. Yeah, go check out that book. I'm not, I haven't backed that book yet. Um, but yeah, there you go. Shane. There's your review, buddy. You can watch my shit. You can watch my th karaoke stream for seven hours. You asked me for a review, Shane? There you go. There's a live reading of your shit and a review at the end. Feel free to time stamp it, skip it, dip it, slip it, grip it, and fucking whip it. Guys, you know what it is. It's sucking. Woo! That's what it is. Wrong. I'm the woo 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 woo